What will win in a drag race between the new Lotus Electra R and a Lamborghini Urus Performante? Well, we're going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson. You're watching Car Wow. Now, let me tell you about this Lotus Electra. So we've got two electric motors, one on each axle, though the one on the rear axle has a two-stage gearbox. Ooh. Anyway, combined, you've got 905 horsepower and 985 newton meters of torque. Now, that's quite a lot, but this car also weighs quite a lot. Tips of scales at 2.6 tons. It's quite expensive as well, though I do like these seat belts Look with the Lotus colors. Very nice. Quite a showy looking car. Not quite as showy as that thing over there, the Urus. So let's find out about it from its driver, Mark McCann. Hey, Mark McCann, how you doing? How are you, Urus? I'm back, baby. Hi, Matt, how are we? I'm back, we've sorted out our differences, so um, he's allowed me back on the channel. No, we haven't, you're still banned. <laughs> For people that sent lovely messages, thank you, I appreciate you guys. Me and Matt didn't fall out, I had a back operation, but I'm back and I feel I feel nice, I've missed it. I've missed you guys, man. Lovely seeing you, Matt. Dude, I'm, not sitting, I'm not messing around, you're banned. Why are you back? Everything is not okay. Matt, you can never ban me. You love me so much and so do the team and I'm always so nice to everyone and we have a great relationship and I know you've missed me. <sighs> so I lent Yanni some money, right? Wasn't that much, but he basically took the piss and said that he wasn't gonna give it back. I'll see if he'll give it back now, but honestly, it's completely out of order and he's just trying to like ignore that it ever happened. Danny, listen, I've told you, and until you give me that 10 quid back, you still owe me 10 quid. He can run as much as he wants. I owe him no money and I'm sticking to my story. We never fell out. We never fell out. <laughs> no, so seriously, I was a bit worried about his back because he put his back out and I was like, mm, we can keep him away from the drag racing just in case something happens because he'd have been out drag racing the very next day after his operation if he'd have had his way. But there we go, I was just being sensible and looking after him. Anyway, tell me about your car. So it's actually my car. It's my Lamborghini Urus Performante with the full urban body kit. 666 horsepower like the devil, four liter twin turbo, 850 newton meters. I don't know what it weighs, two something? We'll show on the screen right now. And how much was it? What's the entry level price before you like started fitting options to it? I think the fact that it's a perf, I think they start around 250, 260, but mine with everything on it, with all the extras and the fact that it's got the kit and the wheels and everything else, around 330. Quite a lot of money, a lot more than this Lotus. Now, normally in a drag race between a Lotus and a Lamborghini, you'd be backing the Lamborghini, but things could be different today because this is electric and we know what electric cars do when it comes to launching, don't we? We know what they do when it comes to launching. I know that's got 900 odd horsepower, but the fact that it's wet, I'm hoping that could work in my favor. Plus, I'm probably a bit rusty from launching, so I don't even know how good my reaction time is going to be, so I'm a bit nervous. Well, we shall see. However, electric cars are good at launching, but this one is also good at doing something else. What? <laughs> You're going to tell me? I'm going to try and show you. Let me see if I can show you. Right, let's go again. Okay, that wasn't very impressive. It looks like you've been out from drag racing and <laughs> doing it for a while, not me. I, I, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, mate. Give it up, just, just come back here. Not really good at this. Okay, that's better. You're doing your very best. <laughs> I'm doing my very best. Also, I know what you're doing, mate. You're warming up your tyres. You think I'm stupid. I'm not stupid, Matthew. Do you know what? The car got very cross when we're doing that, and it's just said, no, you can't have any more power. So I'm going to turn it off and on again. If you can't race, I win. Oh. Did you break it, Matt? I think I made it cross by right, being crap at that. Earlier, it was doing a good job, driver error. Let's give it a moment, it'll be fine. Hmm. All right, Yanni, how are you doing over there? I'm really good. While we're waiting for your car to, to recharge and do its thing, we could probably do the obligatory sound check, obviously, and obviously, because your car doesn't make any noise, you need to make your own noise. My own noise is, oh, no, why did I go and do that? Oh, oh. Oh, 
there he goes back to the car walking with some purpose in that stride come on right some really bad drifting on my part well it wasn't even a drift was it it was crap car didn't like it let's see if it's got performance back oh yeah we're on i feel a bit sick though doing that kind of spinning around oh, i actually feel really sick okay now to go into launch mode i pull this go into sports mode drive have you fixed it i uh, get off that screen there we go yep are we doing the sound check though because we haven't done that okay here's the sound check rev up your engine a crapper bitch baby Okay, here's mine. Ah, 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 shiver my timbers, I'm a pirate. Don't know what that was all about. Anyway, can't launch. There we go. Three, two, one. Launch failed. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Went so sideways. Whoa, it's all over the place. Whoa, it's because he's got the stability off. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, initially I thought I had it. This is so sideways. Well, I mean, it was still quick. So launch failed. Don't know what's happening. Tell me about your launch first, Yemi. I was actually really pleased with the launch and I thought, wow, okay, this, this is interesting. Then obviously the electric motors decided to come into play. I know, it kind of was a bit unexpected, the launch on this. It didn't launch, it said it like launch had failed and then it just took off and then went sideways quite a bit and then came past you. Let me just have another go. I'm just gonna test something, okay. I'm gonna see if it'll launch, because it didn't launch properly there. Let me just have a go. Too many launch activations. Can we get someone from Lotus across? Because I don't think it's ever actually engaged launch control properly. This is Max. Hello, Max. He did, he did three Hiya. launches this morning. Okay. So he'll just talk you through it. So, Max, what's happened is I got it to engage launch control once, but I never actually launched it. I backed out of it, so I basically lifted off the throttle again. Ever yeah, since okay. then, it said too many launch activations. Have we turned the car off since? Yeah, I've turned it off and turned it back on again. Does it still say that now? Yep. Have we been doing lots of driving in it? I've done a, been doing lots of skidding. Or I did. I did try to do some drifting in it very badly, and then it kind of got cross at me and cut the power. So I got out of the car, turned it off and on again, and it's fine yeah. for power. I mean, it's quick. I mean, it's putting yeah. in a good time, but I know it's going to put in a quicker time because basically it's I launched. Uh, yeah, because it had no traction, so it went sideways off the line. Normally, it shuts off when the, just the rear clutch temperatures have got high. Okay. And the battery's good for 10, 20 launches. So I've not, I've not done one single launch at all myself. I can drive up and down here and see if it'll cool down. But yeah. when you engage launch, does it say on the screen? Yeah, it'll say, uh, it'll say it's active on the ribbon in front of you. Yeah, on the, on the thing right in front of me, yeah, it never, it's never said that once actually. So I don't have to look at the main screen, I can look at the little screen in front of the driver. Yeah, you'll know, I'll tell you when that's active then, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll so go like for it. now, for example, if you're, I'll tell you, you're in the car, you've got your seatbelt on. Yeah. And then it's in track mode. Yeah, it says track. Traction is off. So the toggle's to the right-hand side. Yep. And then if you hold your foot on the brake and then firmly and then uh, press the accelerator, yeah. does that then give you that warning on the left? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't get launch control coming up. Yeah, it's just said it now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's we, we're on now, but I'm concerned. This is what happened last time. It then goes, uh, next time I tried to do it, it said it was off. Let's give it a go. I, when I was on the launch of the car, it let me do it several times. I didn't even care. Right, let's hope it's going to do it this time. And just a quick question, actually, sorry. I was doing some, I tried to like slide it and I wasn't very good. I just spun it. I did that a few times and the car just kind of went into a sort of limp mode. What would that have been about? Did you have the traction on or was that all off? It was, well? it was off. It's probably come back on and then says, can you stop driving? <laughs> Okay, so... Uh, if you switch it all off again, you should... You yeah, should and it's, it was all fine. So basically, it was like, who's this... <laughs> yeah. 
and then it was like taking control of the situation yeah. until a, like someone turned the car off and on again and like a grown-up was driving again yeah. got you yeah, okay so it's a safety thing you built in cool all right thank you the dramas of it all right 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 come on then Yannick let's do it it's going to be midnight by the time you're ready can we have someone to start the race please <laughs> He totally forgot he had to start the race. There he is. Three. Okay, so it's telling me too many launch activations. Oh, so even when you engage the launch control and you don't actually launch, it counts it as a launch and then it gets crossed. So this is quite tricky because you don't know you've got a launch until you practice that the launch is working. Then if it says it's engaged and you're good to go, then you've had a go. <laughs> the next time you try to do it for real, it won't let you. So I think I've got to drive about for a bit. You sure that's not a BMW in disguise? Yeah, this is like a BMW thing. They, I think they must have got BMW to do their kind of launch control where it's very, very cautious. One eternity later. Hopefully it's gonna work. Come on, left on the brake. Everything's ready. Come on, go, go. Three, two, one. That's it. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> now. Oh, wow, he did come over towards me. That was going over there, if I didn't back off. Jesus Christ. How was that for you, Yanni? Did you see me coming towards you? Are you okay there, mate? Like, are you trying to sideswipe me and then just go on the grass? What the hell are you doing? Because it has the traction off, it just goes mad sideways. It's on Pirelli Corsa tires, which are kind of like racing tires. They need to be heated up, it's wet. Just honestly, I thought it would manage the traction but it hasn't done i'm not sure i want to do another one i thought you were going to sideswipe me honestly i know you've got insurance and stuff but yeah that would have hurt if you sideswiped my car pal yeah i thought it, like, i kept in it and i just thought it'll pull itself straight but it was coming around so i backed off and it went straight i've got an idea one more time i'm not going to do launch control and i'm going to have the stability control on and i'm just going to mash the throttle and i bet it goes quicker i've got a question for the lotus people so got launch control but it went mad sideways. Yeah. If I go in track mode, you have slightly tapered back stability control. Yeah. If I were to go into sport mode, will I have full stability control, but still full power? I mean, it'll, it'll be better, but you won't get the power that you've got in track. Well, no. So if I go in track, but with the stability on and just mash the throttle, it's less likely to go sideways. It still will, but probably not as bad. Okay. It'll be more Thank controllable. Goodness. So that's probably, I might get a better time if I do it that way. Yeah, give it a go. It's not gonna help that it's wet as well. <laughs> it doesn't help that it's wet. <laughs> so now I'm gonna mash the throttle with stability on. Yes. Yanni, can you do me a favor, mate? Can you move one block over? Just to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. It, essentially, what I was expecting is that when it initiates launch control, because in some other systems that I've driven, when you have stability off, but you initiate launch control, it knows it's in launch control, so it still manages yeah. the traction, and it didn't seem to. It seemed to just go, yeah, I've hit all, have all the power. Yeah, once the launch control um, stability has gone, gone, then you've got no stability. Right, so, okay. Why don't they program it so that you always have stability when you initiate launch control mode. I don't don't know the actual answer, but I would imagine it's because for us, look, off is off. Okay, it's like a Lotus mentality. Yeah. Okay, it's Lotus off. Lotus off was very scary for me. Let's go with Lotus on. Three, two, one. Oh, here we go. Bog down. Absolute, whoa. Frickin' was f fighting, fighting all over the place. This thing's an absolute monster. 
What, your face? <laughs> I mean, it's like all over the place. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, do that again. It's not work. Right, I'm gonna do it one more time. Mate, off. <laughs> off. Well, if you don't want to, I'm just gonna do it myself. What, you, how many more times do you want to do it? That's fine, we can leave it there. I'm gonna do one more time myself on my own, if you don't want to do it. You do it on your own, mate, like, like, like you used to doing it. Okay, I'm gonna do it here. I am going to do it in just sport mode. So more traction. Let's see what happens now. See if this is the quickest time. Now that is so much more stable. But slower. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Lotus won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.3 seconds. The Lamborghini took 12 seconds. With the stability control off, the Lotus actually took 11.6 seconds to do the standing quarter mile. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free. I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price. On with the video. Okay, let's go do a rolling race. I assume sport is sitting as usual. I reckon you can just choose. We'll start with one thing. You choose the speed and you choose the gear. You tell me, mate, you can decide. Right, do you think you're gonna run quicker in second gear from what speed do you wanna do? Second gear from what, 30 mile an hour? Mate, you're electric and you're instant. So whether I go second, third or first, this, let's be honest, we know what's gonna happen here. No, there's no point. You just pick the speed that's good for you when you think you're in your power band, everything's great, and you call it in. Okay, so you just stay with me then, and then when I say three, two, one, go. Exactly. This okay, is. Okay, now stay with me, Matthew. Um, oh. Get next to me, get next to me. I've gone in reverse. <laughs> you had one job, Matt, one job. I'm not used to doing it this way around. <laughs> yeah, I'm going the other way towards the hay bales. All right, let's go, Matt. Come with me, next to me, next to me. Let's go. Stay next to me. Let's see what gear I'm in. Stay with me, stay with me. Oh, that's quite a good barrier, actually. Yes, yeah, so we're at 40 mile an hour. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. This car on these tires, on this surface, in these conditions, is a wild ride. Even then it's like, whoa, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, Matthew. It's never gonna be any better than that for you, is it? No, and I was quite pleased with that. That wasn't bad, to be fair. Oh, it's, it's way ahead. There is a chance that you'll win in the next challenge, though. No, I will win the next challenge, 100%. And obviously the brake test is what counts, so. Yeah, I mean, you're, you've got carbon ceramics, you've got tires that are better in the wet than these, but we're just gonna go do it because you've gotta run. Same rules as every other drag race. And you've gotta run with whatever car you've got. I think I might put the stability all the way on. How do I do it? Do it quickly, Watson, do it quickly. Where is it, where are you? Where are you, where are you? Bugger, there it is, vehicle. Stability, it is on. Let's go into not track mode, let's go into just normal sport. Yeah, that's good, let's go on sport mode. Here we go, let's slow it down. 
kind of venture over here. There we go, ready, three, two, one. I can hit that harder because it's got really sporty That's light work mate that's light work okay so i forgot that i'm in a lotus so it's got a slightly more sporty pedal and i didn't hit it hard enough i bet i can do better can i have one more go my car is burning like anything mate so no it's stinking in here you stay there we break at the same point doing 100 miles an hour all right now don't crash into the back of me for sake i don't want to think i'm on the motorway let's move closer to get some more braking power in there Cruising a hundred. Here comes the line. <laughs> exactly like last time. Exactly to the point, mate. Nice try though. It is exactly the same place. I pushed this pedal as hard as I could. Yeah, you definitely won that. Thank you, I won one. That's not bad. He won one. I am just going to test one thing. I'm going to do a launch and I'm going to have the ESC off. I'm going to go into track mode. I'm going to launch it and I'm try and put in a time. Right, I've got the lane keeping off. Here we go, launch activated. Whoa! Mental! It's so wild. It wasn't that. <laughs> it's just got all the power. And like they say, Lotus uh, off is off. It's just off. Wow. That was better though. This surface isn't quite so slippy or it's like dried up a bit. Well, there's more heat in the tires as well from all that braking and it just launched better. Wasn't any quicker though. The quickest time was when I had the stability control on. That just did an 11.6. The stability on did an 11.3. And I reckon in the dry, when you're launch controlling and it's not going sideways, you're a sub 11. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Watch some other videos by clicking here and on that box there to go to CarWow to compare this car's quarter mile times to everything else we've ever drag raced. Thanks for watching.